Holisasa Mandela, born in 1918 to the chief of Mvezo in the Eastern Cape, Mparanyiswa Mandela. Their lives changed when the government stripped the chief of his title and land after a disagreement. Mvezo was no longer home. The Mandela family walked many miles to Kunu, where they settled. Young Rolishasa loved living in Kunu. He was free to run in the fields near his mother's hut. He tended to kettle and played as long as he obeyed his father and abided by the customs of his people. Go, put it, go! This part of young Mandela's life ended when he was nine years old and his father died. He was taken in and educated by the regent, Jongindaba. He had to be strong. He was sent to boarding school where he worked hard. He was one of a few African children to go to high school. At Hilltown, the largest school for Africans in the country, he became a leader. Mandela was sent to Fort Hare University. In 1940, he stood up for change and joined a student boycott. He faced two choices, back down or be expelled. He chose expulsion. The regent was furious and insisted that Mandela return to university. He arranged marriages for him and his own son, Justice. They decided to escape. They arrived in Johannesburg, a city built on the labor of African miners. There was no turning back. 